Hey everyone, Zankus here, and we got some news on the uh, Challenger decks. The Challenger decks are uh, going to be $29.99 MSRP, and they uh, are available April 6th of this year. Uh, they're going to be available in English worldwide and in Japan in Japanese. So, let's see what... Uh, Wizards has to say, uh, Challenger decks are your on-ramp to standard. These are four individual 75 card decks are geared towards standard play for Friday Night Magic player and forged out of some of the most powerful strategies in standard. When we first heard about this, we were very uh, apprehensive to say that they're going to put some good cards in it, in these uh, decks, but uh, it, it looks like, I, I looked through them, it looks like... Uh, we got some good cards, some good decks to start with. So uh, let's see what it says. Uh, each challenger deck comes with a 60 card deck and 15 card stand uh, sideboard and is intended to be playable and competitive at a local level right out of the box. All cards will be will have been previously printed in standard and are standard legal. So when these come out, these will be standard legal. So the first one that they show us is Hazaret Agro. So it's uh, the mono, mono red, so it's uh, RDW, red deck wins, uh, red rush, whatever you want to call it. It's not, uh, it's not uh, ramming up red anymore, that was uh, taken out, but uh, let's see. This is the deck list, and we'll go through, uh, we'll go through it, see what, uh, see what they gave us. So, very surprised to see uh, Chandra, Torch of Defiance, in this deck. It's uh, right now... Well, before this announcement, uh, last I saw it was a $29 card, so they're putting a $29 card in a $29.99 product, which is good value, but of course we're going to see this price drop a little bit because of this. Uh, that's our Planeswalker for the deck. We have 23 creatures. We got one Hazard the Fervent. Uh, last I saw it was hovering around $17 value. You're getting one of those. You got uh, three Soul Scar Mages, uh, four Bomac Couriers. These are all the staples in uh, your red deck. Kari Zev, Sky Ship, you're going to have three of those. Three Harsh Mentors, one Glory Bringer, four Fanatical Firebrands, or the Creepy Rudies, uh, four Ancrop Crashers. That was like a dollar uncommon. Got four of those. You got uh, four shocks, four lightning strikes, two abrades, and two magma sprays. And then uh, the lands is uh, four sun scorched deserts and twenty mountains. So it's a uh, well, it's pretty standard mana base for a mono red deck. And then uh, the sideboard we have two more magma sprays, uh, two PL Nalars, three sentinel totems. Two Key to the Cities, two Karizev's Expertise, and four Chandra's Defeat. So this, I was surprised. They're, they're, they're packed full of rares and uncommons. Like, I thought they would just throw a bunch of uh, commons into this deck and, you know, see what see what happens. So let's, let's keep looking. We have uh, Vehicle Rush. Vehicle Rush. Uh, I looked at this. It has... An interesting uh, or value um, land base. So they start with four Spire of Industries, um, one Dragon Skull Summit, one Inspiring Vantage, one Concealed Courtyard. You got three Aether Hubs, three Unclaimed Territories, two evol Evolving Wilds, five Plains, three Mountains, and a Swamp. So it's a pretty nice, you know, land land base. Gets you. Uh, Gets the new players learning the different types of lands that are out there, you know, the uh, choose a creature type lands, or fetch, cheap, cheap, cheap fetch lands, or, uh, you know, our dual lands, or, you know, our rare lands. So that's that's pretty good. <clears throat> creatures, we have uh, 21 creatures. Uh, again, four Bomac Bo Couriers. Four Toolcraft Exemplars. Four Scrap Heap Scroungers. Nice. Uh, two Peel and Nalars, three Dapala Pilot Exemplar, she's the box art, uh, four Veteran Motorists. Uh, instance, we have 
for unlicensed disintegration for, and four lightning strikes. Now we get to the vehicles. We have four Mythic Heart of Kirins, one Cultivator's Caravan, one Aether Sphere Harvester, and one another Mythic, a Segovian Console Flagship. The uh, sideboard, we have another Aether Sphere Harvester, two Crook of Condemnations, two Chandra, Chandra's Defeat, one Cast Out, three Harsh Mentors, four Duress, and two Magma Sprays. All right, that seems like a nice little, fun little deck to play. Um, again, these, uh, these are decent decks, decent starter decks. Definitely could uh, upgrade these and have a uh, competitive deck. The, uh, the next one we have is uh, Second Sun Control. It's a white-blue deck. Uh, the land base is 26 lands, 4 uh, irrigated farmland, a cycle land, a uh, field of ruin, Ipnu Rivlet, 10 islands, 8 plains. The creature we have here is a Kefnet the Mindful. The sorceries we have, of course, Approach of the Second Sun. That's your win condition. Three Fumigates, nice card. Has a little value. Uh, probably going to go down now because of this. Uh, one Settle the Wreckage, four Ops, four Sensors, four Supreme Wills, one Renewed Faith, four Glimmer of Genius, one Farm to Market. Enchantments, we have eight enchantments. We have four Aether Meltdown. This card is a pain in the you-know-what. I uh, played against a... a approach deck before and just it's a pain in the butt and four cast outs the sideboard another kefnet four regal caracals two spell pierces two renewed faith two glyph keeper and four negates again I, I i'm looking at these decks and it's just there's some value but it's also just not a it's not a bunch of commons thrown together, you know, same color, a bunch of blue commons or something just, just to get it out there. It actually has some, uh, you know, feel of a constructed deck that you would construct, some uh, rares and stuff like that. So the last one we have is Counter Surge. Uh, the land base is uh, four Aether Hubs, four Foul Orchids, two Hashep Oasis, eight forests and eight swamps, seven forests. Uh, <clears throat> the creatures we have four winding constrictors. There's the counters, yeah. Glint sleeve siphoner, two scrap heat scroungers, some more value, some uh, a one walking ballista, uh, three Rishkar Pima Re Renegade, three dream stealers. Two Ganti Lord of Luxury, uh, three Green Gear Hulks, Verdurious Gear Hulks, and the Cub is there. Four Long Tusk Cubs. Got some removal, uh, two Walk the Planks, two Hour of Glory, four Blossoming Defense, and a Fatal Push. Nice, they put a Fatal Push in there. Uh, sideboard, we have two Life Crafters Bestiary, two Die Young, four Duresses, one Slice and Twine, one Dispossess, three Cartouche of Ambition, and two Appetite for the Unnatural. So that's it. That's the uh, big announcement by Wizards today. Uh, got four new. Challenger Standard Decks coming out April 6th, right there, 2018, for $30 MSRP. And it was said that it will be uh, available in big box stores. So um, $30, you'll be able to get it for $30. Um, probably predicting that these are going to go 
for more on the secondary market if the big box stores are sold out of them because there are there are some value in these uh, especially the hazard one or the one with uh, well you know all of them they have some have the uh, fast land some have the walking ballista you know it's it, these these decks are pretty cool for um, it's a pretty good way to get somebody into uh, magic uh, that has never played before they're pretty simple straightforward especially you know the red mono reds always been very straightforward and easy deck to play um, so it was it's a good uh, it's a good option instead of just like a uh, a planeswalker deck or something like that you know these are these are actually semi competitive and easily upgraded decks uh, so let me know what you think of these decks if you're gonna pick them up or if it's uh, you'll get some try to get your friends to play uh, so leave down in the comments what you think and uh, remember comment subscribe and check out the February giveaway video uh, don't forget to comment over there we have a few more days until I pull the winner for February and then March I'll make the March uh, giveaway video right after that so until next time guys